Practice, practice, practice. <lacht> I'm a very passionate person and I've, I've got a great passion for what I do. There are various things that weave into my life um, and ceramics is, is one of them and it's been the, the main abiding passion for, for many, many years. My favourite activity actually is moving into these kinds of vintage junk shops and, and finding little treasures finding textures and finding other objects for reference or texture for reference, whether it's lace doilies. I mean, some of the most hideous things I feel I can turn into something of beauty when it's transformed into the clay. Good morning. How's it been? The part of finding something that's already been used, that comes from another context, is part of that joy of looking and searching and going through old things and then reinventing them, finding a contemporary fresh use in my work as either a surface or as form. One of the reasons I love going to the kitchen, it just feels like my aesthetic. I'm actually essentially a magpie. In fact, one of my best friends calls me Mags because wherever we go, there's something bright and shiny that I want to take home. So, when I go to the kitchen, the game I play is, if you were an aesthetic, what aesthetic would you be? Well, this is the aesthetic I would be. So, for Mr. Price Home, I have made a series of vessels, two vases vessels, and I've made a little tea light candle holder and two plaques, decorative plaques that hang on the wall with inspirational poetic sayings. I absolutely love poetry. Poetry takes me into another space, a space of absolute being, and I think so much is expressed through poetry, and I use it a lot in my work. So when I decided to do these decorative wall plaques, I chose two of my favorite pieces of poetry from the Sufi poets Rumi and Hafiz. The soul is here for its own joy, and we live in this world when we love it. And it's been really uh, delightful to see them expressed in this medium. When you look at other countries in the world, and you look at the way design is supported as a way of being, and a national initiative, I think we're starting to move in that direction here. That's my sense of it. And that feels really exciting. So across the board, you know, whether it's uh, design around how we live and, and how to improve how we live, or functional design around the objects that we live with, or aesthetic design, the beauty that we surround ourselves with, it feels like the platform of design is being raised.